are you doing today, Liz? Hey, good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm wide awake. My son is sleeping, but we're here. Oh my God. How old is your son? Five months. (gasps) Oh, you're in it. Oh, you're in it. That Um, sleeping is great. All right, let's get this over with so you can go chill. (laughs) It's really it's all good. five months is a thing. Oh, so cool. Um, knowing that you've done um, some work on Captain Marvel and also on Glow, what intrigued you to take on this project? Um, you know, when Carly and I were working on Glow, we were sent many things that were kind of like Glow 2.0, um, which, you know, was both flattering. And we were like, we already made a show about a bunch of women in the 80s. We don't want to do it again. So when we were sent the book Roar by Bruna Papandrea, one of our producers, um, we just loved how many things it could be. Um, And the idea of trying to tackle an anthology where each episode got to be its own thing was really exciting. We'd never done that before. Um, We'd only worked on, you know, building full seasons of television. So the idea that you'd have to deliver a beginning, middle and an end eight times for a whole season of television felt like a crazy challenge, but something that we were really interested in, um, in terms of being able to present maybe a different kind of kaleidoscope of, of women and characters and, and vibes. So yeah, that was, that was what drew us to it, I think, creatively. Yeah, I was thinking the whole time when I was um, reading the episodes, there, everyone's going to be different. So you brought up that fact that this is this was a challenge. What were some yeah. challenging aspects when it came to crafting all these episodes together, knowing that it's a different one each one each time? I mean, it was really in terms of a production. You know, normally when you make a series, you figure stuff out in the pilot and you keep figuring that same sort of arc out, um, both in terms of how you shoot things, the sets, um, and we would basically sort of crack the code on one episode and then everything we learned, we would just toss and move on to the next episode, which were a whole new set of um, opportunities and problems and solutions and creative exploration, um, which was incredibly, incredibly satisfying and incredibly hard. Um, So we had a very, luckily a very nimble cast of really genius actors. We had an incredibly nimble crew who were really game to figure out eight different worlds um, in a, at a pretty breakneck pace. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just needed people who were really interested in what we were trying to do. And thankfully all of our collaborators were with the same like enthusiasm at episode one as we found in, in when we got to episode eight. Um, Cause it was a pretty heavy lift to, to build all of these. All the episodes you had your hand on, which can you say is the most proudest you've been part of when it came to production and uh, scripting and everything else? I mean, I can't really choose between my children. They're very, <laughs> they're, I mean, they each, I mean, I think in that they are so distinct, like I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of so many things in the series because I think they're just things you haven't really seen before. And I think the, the fact that we found something, um, like really unique to say and then I think special in its production um so each one does feel uh like its own thing but in conversation with the episode it's like sort of smashed up against um I think I'm proudest of the whole thank you so much for your time today how are you doing Fievel it's uh really great to speak with you hi I'm doing really well how are you I'm doing pretty great. Um, I'm still wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me about uh, your character development on Roar, especially the episodes that you are on. Yeah, um, definitely physically um, exhausting and tiring, <laughs> having to train seven weeks prior to actually filming. Um, I grew up horseback riding, but I didn't grow up writing Western. So that was like a completely different language to learn. Um, But it was nonetheless super fun and just an amazing experience. Now, how was this series approached to you? And when you started casting for either it was this series, uh, did you know which character you was going to play? Yeah, so every episode is different. I'm only in one episode. It's called The Girl Who Loved Horses. And I played Jane, uh, the girl who loved horses. And when I was provided with the the sides and the script, I was immediately hooked. Um, You know, just the fact that I'm Asian American, Native American, you don't really see a leading female in a Western. So that was uh, really, really amazing. 
Now, um, how much was your relationship with the horses that you uh, rode on there? Like, did you build a bond with the horses? Yeah. Um, so the horse that I rode was the horse that I trained with for seven weeks prior. So we definitely had, um, we definitely had a connection and a relationship. There was no issues at all when it came to getting on the horse or doing any of the stunts? No, not really. Um, I grew up with horses around, so I wasn't afraid of horses. I grew up riding Western, so that's with a saddle. Um, just having to ride bareback to to learn that was was definitely a lot harder. But we got, I mean, seven weeks was the proper amount of time. So when I got to set, it was, I could do it. Um, I did have a stunt double. Her name is Paloma and she was amazing. So I would shoot like, I would shoot a scene on the horse and then she would do it and vice versa. So I'm glad that they they did a really good job of like having her in the show and then having me in the show. So it wasn't just like all her or all me. It was a good balance. A final question for you. What is your biggest takeaway of this series knowing that it's an anthology series? Yeah, just um, being open to hearing other women's voices and stories and perspectives and experiences because not all, not one is the same, you right. know? So I think that Roar does a really amazing job at representing that. Thank you so much for your time today. And also cool cactus back there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks, you too. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, bye.